Hey everyone, John Eisman here. I'm really pleased to be a part of this class and looking forward to learning with you all. Um, so I might not work through the bullet points in order, but just kind of hit them as I, as I go along here. So um, let's see, I'm married. Uh, my wife and I have been married for over eight years, uh, going on nine. And we've got two children, um, seven and five, a boy and a girl. We live in Visalia, California, so the Central Valley of California. We just moved here about a year ago. And um, here in California, I am the Director of Family Ministry at St. Paul's Anglican Church. And I'm also the Youth Ministry Director for our diocese, the Anglican Diocese of San Joaquin. So I kind of have both those roles going on in my current location. Um, as a part of that, I am in the discernment process uh, for the priesthood. Um, I've got my first meeting with the diocesan Committee on Ministry this Saturday, actually. So there's a whole long process I've been going through for about a year within your church. And then once your church gives you the stamp of approval, they, they think you're called to the priesthood, then you go to the diocese. It's a whole thing. Anyway, that's a bit about me. So first meeting with the diocese uh, this coming Saturday. Um, and so hopefully that'll all go well. And so that's a little bit about my calling, right? So um, uh, the thing I love about family ministry is I love working with children and youth. I've been a youth minister before, uh, but I also have been a pastor before. I was a local pastor in the United Methodist Church for about four years. And so I really love getting to preach and work with, with families and with, with adults. Um, and But I also love working with kids. And so as a family minister, I get to minister to parents. I get to minister to young adults. I get to minister to kids. And so it's a really good fit uh, for, the, for that, um, for those desires. And, and, and calling the Lord is laid on my heart. And um, discerning the priesthood is just another step in that direction. I've already said my denominational affiliation. So um, I'm Anglican, and we are within the Anglican Church in North America, and we're connected to uh, GAFCON. Uh, for those of you who know what that means, the Global Anglican Future Conference. And so let's see, preaching experience. Um, I've been blessed to be able to preach quite a bit. Um, so just a bit of my background. I was the youth ministry director for the Episcopal Diocese of Albany right out of college for about four years and got to preach uh, pretty regularly. I mean, not like every Sunday, but got to go preach at churches and, and that sort of thing. Uh, for four years after that, I was a local pastor in the United Methodist Church and got to preach um, twice a Sunday. So I was preaching twice a Sunday for four years. I uh, really loved it. I love preaching. Um, and now here, um, obviously I'm not the lead pastor. I'm the family ministry director. Um, I preach about once a month. Um, I get to teach and, and things like that in between our school or our church started a school um, in 1966. So I get to give a message at chapel, which is much more abbreviated, but I still, you know, it's kind of a short sermon, more of a homily. Um, I get to do that every week. Um, so I've got, you know, a, a decent amount of preaching experience. I'm sure there are many of you in this class that have done a lot more than me, um, but I've preached quite a bit over the last several years and I really love it. In terms of hope for this class, um, you know, I'm hoping to become a better preacher. Um, you know, I'm thankful I've, I've over the years gotten a lot of good feedback from my sermons. People tend to really enjoy them um, and seem to get a lot out of them, but there's always ways that we can grow and improve um, in our preaching. And so I'm looking forward to saying, hey, you know, um, this is an area where I don't do very well in, in my preaching, where I can grow, and or maybe this is, you know, an area of my preaching where I do a good job, but I could do better. Um, and, and just hoping to learn more about that, refine my process, and, and hopefully uh, become a better preacher through it. Um, I think that's just all the information uh, about myself for the class. Um, I'm from New York originally, so I don't know if I shared that, but yeah, we moved across the country in the last year. We've been enjoying our time in California. Anyway, I'm blessed to be a part of this class, and uh, blessed to be part of my journey, uh, and all of our journey here at Asbury. I'm about halfway through my MDiv, and uh, looking forward to connecting with you all. God bless. See you soon.